It's 6.30, so I'd like to call the meeting to order the Charter Revision for April 22nd, 2021. And all who can rise, please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to do roll call, starting with Frank. I'm oh, here. Frank Mills. Ron Shivik. June Gagnon. Virginia San Pietro. Linda Stearns. So now we can open the public hearing. Oh, good. And we'll take questions from the public. Well. Or suggestions for the charter. Well, this is a suggestion, but my ultimate goal is to get this to the public. What I want to do... Okay, can I ask you your name? Yeah, Charles W. Staples, Jr. Okay. He is the third, so okay. that's my official name. Okay, Charles? I live at 64 Lowly Bridge Road. Okay. And we've been here since 1977. No, wait a minute. 78. 78. Tell them what you want to do. Okay. I'd like to remove from the town char charter the police commission. Now, that commission, for lack of a better term, is useless. Use right, we have a force of roughly 15 officers, and then there are six people I assume that that's five or six people, uh, um, which are, are the police commission. And that means that there is two and a half people supervising, not including the chief, supervising four, uh, three, Officers. Now, for lack of a better term, that's ludicrous. And to remove that council, if you will, that they have been a tax drain, if you will, tax or money drain for a good 40 to 50 years. Uh, can, I, can I ask you a question? You're yes, ma'am. You're talking about the police commission? Huh? You're talking about the police commission? Yes, ma'am. That, that, that is a board like ours. Mm -hmm. Huh? That is a board, a commission. It's, it's, it's a group of people that are elected. Right. To the board. Have you been to a commission, police commission meeting? I was here when it was founded. You were here when it was founded? But was unfortunately, I worked for the government. Okay. So we can't have any government employee. Oh, yeah, because you were cannot, in It cannot be uh, run for office. I did run way back when for the police commission. And I didn't realize how big I was until I see my picture in the turnpike fire. Okay. That's all you could see. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember the year. It, it was in the 80s sometime. Yeah, the first uh, charter here was 1984. Okay, that's when it was put in. Yeah. And what I'm saying now is that that's one big tax saving that, that we should have because it was never good to begin with and it hasn't got any better Where's the savings? over the years. You're talking about the police commission. You're talking about, yeah, you don't, there's no money involved no. as far as I know. They don't get well, they're paid, paid them. No, no, they're not. No. Paid. They're not they're not paid. No, 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 not the commission. No. Well, if they're not paid, 
I'm actually right. looking for the section of the charter, but I know it's on the board. It's on the seven, page seven, seven, and I found the right. of police commission. That's good. Oh, well, there has been arguments. One yes. argument was it's a buffer. What are they buffering? What are they that buffering? job should fall to the chief uh, of police. Well, what I understand about the police commission, it seems like the people that are elected there from the, from the electors of the town. They, yeah, that's an elected. Right. Uh, but it, se it seems like what they do is actually um, serve as representatives of the town. When it comes so to why the, why do we have a police chief? Day to day operations. Right, but they, they actually can bring the. Police commission can actually bring things to the police department that the citizens are concerned about. They discuss quite a bit. Again, or we have a chief of police board. Well, he he's the boss. Can I speak? Yeah, I, I get three comments. The the board, the police commission, has a budget of one thousand dollars. I just looked up in the budget. Okay, but the police commission is the overseers of the police, of the police chief. Oh, yeah. They're the overseers, though. Okay. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't have a police commission, you don't have anybody overseeing the police. That's what the police chief does, by definition. Okay, if, if you have a corrupt police chief, you have nobody overseeing him. You don't need that. Okay. Well, we got three That's the boss. And they're going, to be, they're going to be placed on the responsibility of overseeing the police department. Yes, the selectmen? Uh, it's it's a tough one. Police, it is a tough one. Chief of police. And then it goes to the selectmen. There was, you know, this uh, town lived real well before the commission was put in office. And quite frankly, the police commission was founded, for lack of a better term, to give somebody a job. I'm surprised he's not here. The police commission? Huh? The police commission? You're talking yeah, about well, the, now the commissioner is voted in within the board. It doesn't go to the, uh, the voters. So, when we vote for people to sit on the commission, then we have a person who is voted within that board. That happens uh, with all the boards. Uh, there are four members of the board. Unfortunately, it's an election, so huh? they have a certain term. Yeah, they're, they're elected. And this is part they're of the only elected because they're only elected for that post and it, to the police commission. As I don't know if you folks are elected or not. But no, we're, we're just we're appointed. We're just humble volunteers. Oh, okay, five. Yeah. There are five people. people on the police commission. Yeah, they. So, they serve. So you, you vote, and then you are five people who's been, who's then took to be a leader <coughs> of that group. That's true. Oh, and everyone well, has to have, every board commission has to have somebody to chair it. Yeah. What's that? Every board and commission has to have somebody to chair it just to lead well, it along. That's right, all. and that, that That's chair yeah. is filled within the ranks. Right, within that group, usually. Okay. And like I said, this, uh, what the hell is that guy's name? What guy? Which one? The, the guy that uh, I go head to head with. Who's there now? Dan Hutchinson? Who? Dan? No. He's got him home? Oh! Oh, he's gone. 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 He's
Really? Well, see, this yeah. is the beauty of the beauty the beauty of the right? charter. Yeah. Yeah. The What's fact that we can elect people, if we don't like them, we can elect somebody else in right. town. So that's the beauty of it. He's, he's not no, there. no, I understand that part of the yeah. procedure. Yeah, he's, he's not on the police commission anymore. But we'll, we'll, we're going to put it down as a topic for now, that yeah. we're doing that. And I just want to see if anyone else has any other topics. Of course. And, um, but, one, yes. one more point on that. Yes, sorry. It, the police commission was formed because I read the ordinance recently. It was formed in 1981, in May, when the police department was formed. We got away from oh. we got away from the state police, and the commission was formed to oversee the police. Oh. So that's how it was formed. By or, uh, by ordinance. I may have my uh, dates wrong, and you may have yours right. They probably read into the charter then. The four police officers that police this town, William Holmes was one of them, and there were three others, and they were all sergeants. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is the place to be talking about it. Yeah. We're not executive. But we're going to take some more questions. If you have any other questions, anyone else have any offering for the hearing? Yeah. Oh, Cheryl. Yes, Cheryl. Yeah, I'm just wondering on this: shall the positions of town clerk and tax collector be changed from elected to appointed? Is there a reason they can't just be hired like a financial that's, person? That's yeah. That, that's exactly. Because yeah, appointed. Someone brought that up as as. What is the same? I don't hear too well. I believe it's the same thing. Oh, uh, Cheryl Roberts. Yes. Yes. Uh, Someone just, brought that up. Because it's the point, it would mean oh. more political influence. Oh, which way? If it's a high position and they stay for 10 or 20 years, I mean, it shouldn't really matter. A tax collector should be just a job. Like any kind no, of financial no. job. The town clerk. I, I don't know why they need to be elected or even appointed. That, that's my only question. Is there. Okay. Yeah, I so it's a question to question that goes to my main right. concern is we're wasting tax monies, and that money could be put to use somewhere else. Always. And we, we would get more. Uh, the chief police, for whatever good that the commission has, can pick up these. He, and I understand he's relatively new. Yeah. 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 Yeah
For the record, my name is Irene Massette. I'm the Democratic Registrar of Voters. Um, we've discussed many times about probably consolidating two polling districts into one. Um, right now, our, we have four locations. The Town Hall here in Plainfield, which holds two districts, the 44th and the 45th. We have Moose Up. We have Central Village and War Regan. <coughs> In, Moose, in Plainfield here, we have, um, for the 44th district, we have 1,865 registered voters. In the 45th district, we have 2,565 that come here to Plainfield. In Moosehep, we have 3,481. In Warregan, we have 1,005 registered voters. And in Central, we have uh, 1,286. So if we combine Warregan with Central Village, it would still be a, sm a small amount of people, a smaller amount of people than Moose Up and Plainfield put together. But it would cons consolidate that. It would be, um, Warregan has, for, on their level for parking to, po to go to the polling place, there's only three parking spaces, two are handicapped and one regular. So it makes it difficult for other people to have to park in the parking lot and walk down the stairs. And that can be, that can be a problem. And I have a question, how much would it, do, do you know how much it would save? Roughly, it would probably save about $1,000. Okay. Just for roughly. Election, right? Pardon? To, to for election, right? Pardon? For an election. Per election, yes. And that would include any uh, referendums or yeah, any I mean, elections? It's, yeah, referendums are, are not as, Cost, well, with this last referendum. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, was going to ask you about. This last one. referendum probably cost us under 3000 Really? Which was really good. I mean, I think we got a deal on even having the ballots printed for us and everything. Oh, okay. They gave us a deal. Okay. And I got the savings out of that. <laughs> and I tried to get the savings for myself, but Kevin wouldn't go. <laughs> so, so it's like Central Village and Warwick are 2100 38 if you combine them, and you're still less than... Yeah. yeah. Still less they? than Moose Up. Oh, actually, them. those are the old numbers. Yeah. Where do they vote now? Where well, they? we have four polling places. The, uh, you, wouldn't that be consolidated to the high school? No, well, not, no. not at this point. That, this, well, that was the question I had. Yeah, you had a question. I, I think at this point, this makes more sense to bring those two small polling places. Right. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it started out like that slowly because so we'll, we have to revise the charter commission to get the charter again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but at this point, I excuse me, I don't know your name, Chuck, 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 Charles. Chuck's fine. Charles. Chuck, are, are you asking? Can they put the Warregan in Central Village at the high school? Why not? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's yeah, what he's saying. Yeah, Instead, oh, I I mean, see. It's, it's, just do it right away. Put it at the high school. Why not have, have, have those two have combined at the high school? Polling area up there at the high school. From where you can answer the uh, At this point, why not yes, have Kevin Moose Moose come into uh, the high school to vote too? Maybe we can get out of two. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot there. Yeah. I mean, it's our high school. Why don't we use it for that? And then we don't have to pay the fire station. Yes, Kevin. Madam Chair, if I might. Yes, please. Kevin Cunningham, and uh, I live in Musa, 405 Musa Pond Road, Musa. Some of the comments are, are very helpful. You can understand that you're concerned about the police commission and you're concerned about the voting places, so all of these are great uh, starters for conversation for your next meeting and well, okay. where to go. Yeah, gotcha. Um, as far as the polling places, I think I would like to see the eventual goal would be, if possible, down to one at the high school. But to get there from here, um, I think we need to take the advice of the uh, registrar voters to listen to what they have to say because they know the numbers better than anybody else. Right. Saving money is absolutely important. Safety is another big issue. Um, I think you took that into consideration when you talked about putting in Central Village and Oregon together because there's only a certain number of spaces you can park at one of them. So right. it would make sense to go to the other yeah. instead. Eventually, if you were to have something at the high school, whether it be a referendum, whether it be an election, and they would take the day off for that as part of a civic uh, process. But you'd be able to store all the machines there. You would save money because your, poll your polling workers would be you know, limited to a certain number, and the town would save money at the end of the day. The question would be up to your commission to understand 
what might be the best for the town. Uh, we're just giving suggestions. Uh, we, uh, we talked about two polling places right. at one point, right. where, where you would put um, Oregon into Moose, if I think it was, mm -hmm. and Central yes. Village into yeah. Plainfield. Yeah, we talked about yeah. that. And I think that, that's another great idea, because again, it's, you're saving money, uh, you're eliminating the, the possibility for um, uh, putting out too much money. If we have multiple referendums in a year, mm -hmm. Your budget's pretty much, pretty much gone. So I, I do uh, concur that you know it, I think it's time to start thinking about uh, consolidating. The question is, what's the best consolidation? And it's got to be what what the voters want. Yep. Well, that's got to be the other thing. You know. And you don't know that until you go to the referendum. That's right. If yeah. I might also approach, I have some papers for you. You didn't know this was a homework assignment, but <laughs> if you don't mind. That should be a fly in the ointment. What if we get the argument that not everyone has transportation to or from a suggested new, new uh, polling place? Uh, the reason that they, they're, they're at a firehouse now, the, the one in Warrigan. I'm not sure where the one in, in uh, Central Village Central Fire villages. Plainfield Fire Shop. Well, Plainfield is here. It's the only village that doesn't have it at the firehouse. All three of the other ones have it. Musa Firehouse, Central Village Firehouse, and Oregon Firehouse. And then Plainfield okay. is right here. Do you, do you vote here? You're at Lily Ridge, right? Well, we vote here yeah. for, for everything. Yeah. Well, there's quite a few people that do. Yeah, what I just passed out to the board members yes. was an example of the last referendum when I was in office that we did. And you can see, there's only going to be a limited number of questions. We squeezed 14 questions in to a ballot. And at the top of the ballot, you can see how tight it was. Fortunately, some of those questions were uh, simple yes, no's, shall we, shall we, yes, no. Uh, my, my suggestion tonight would have been also to say to the board, if you can get it under 10, yeah. bless you. Yes. Yeah. Because I think, yeah. it is difficult I think to see. I was hoping we could get like even five really good ones yeah. that are really going to make a difference. Yep. Instead of worrying about, you know, to trying to squish, because you have to explain all that to the public too. And when I add on one, the yeah, that's, one more place. That's, that's overkill. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's overkill. We tried. Um, one of the other things I definitely wanted to mention that I think is a very important thing that I think you have already mentioned is section 2.5, and that is action requiring town meetings. I am asking that you consider moving those numbers up much higher. If you think about when this was originally written in 1984, mm -hmm. for you to go to a town meeting because you're asking for more than $10,000 or something that was non-budget appropriated, <laughs> the dollar value now to that $10,000 is quite different. So I would suggest that it's a consideration for this board and committee to you know, come up with some better numbers than this. Plus, I'm you have more referendums, it costs more. Exactly. What do you mean by this? The 10000 or Yeah, what uh, if you look at, at uh, 2.5b, it talks about if you are recommending for the Board of Selectmen uh, or the Board of Education and you get approval from the Board of Finance that any resolution for non-budgeted appropriation of an amount more than 10000 but not more than fifty, you just go to a town meeting. Yeah. We will be having another one of those, hopefully, because we're talking about it on Monday's Board of Selectmen meeting coming to a town meeting for just such an item. Anything over 50, now you're requiring to go to the next step, which is what we just did. We came to the town meeting, they voted to go to a town referendum because it was over 50, and now the police had to sweat it out waiting for that vote to see if they could or could not get uh, their radio equipment upgrades. And so that's why I'm considering the idea of, if you would, wouldn't mind thinking about raising those numbers to help out because the inflation number from 84 to now uh, that just doesn't doesn't wash the same thing would be it is 2021 yeah <laughs> and it does include board of selectmen board of finance right board of education, education. Yeah. so they all have to come and right i get permission to give you an example of the same item that is what, relational we have a procurement policy for the for the town the procurement policy says Anything over $2,000, you need three written bids. Anything over, I think it's $2,500. Um, anything over $7,500, you've got to go out to bid. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. And, and those numbers are outdated. Yeah. So eventually we'll be talking about that one as well. But I would ask if you would consider that one. It's a big one. Does he have a suggestion? 
Did you have a recommendation on the limit? I can I can also give you an actual oh, okay. dollar value that I would recommend. Rough guess would probably be close okay. to hundred thousand. I was thinking a hundred. Yeah, if you, if, low. if you double the first one, if you put it to twenty five, um, between twenty five and maybe a hundred, something like that, and then the final one would be anything over hundred to go up to. Yeah, it, it's something that you said. Absolutely. Oh, no. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. Would you do the same as 25D? Yep. Down below? Yeah. For grant money? Yeah. On the radio station. 25D, if you look at 25D, it's the same thing. If you're going out for a grant, there, I can't think of hardly any grants nowadays. Most of the major ones, uh, it's $10,000. It's well above $10,000 for a grant. So if you if we can lump it in to change the section two five D numbers, okay. value them up. And that's what I was talking about for the ballot, how we squeezed fourteen questions on the top. Yep. Anyone else? Yeah. That's how we did the fourteen questions on the front desk. Kevin, you're next too, because you're gonna explain. Oh, I mean, oh, you know what? We have to do. We have to do housekeeping. We have to accept the minutes of the last. Thank you. Move to accept. Oh, thank you. Just to give you gentlemen. No. It will be soon. Yes. All right. I think we have to move. Okay. I. I. Okay. Yes. All right. Go ahead. We have a question. There's just one housekeeping item. Okay. That's in the charter. In section 27D. I'm sorry, what was it? 27D. You notice at the end of it, it says, and notice thereof shall be given in the manner provided by law for calling of a town referendum, and notice therefore shall be given in the manner. It says it twice, the same sentence. So that's just the housekeeping thing. They should have proofread it before they published it. Well, yes, they should have said it to the But I just pointing it out so it gets done. Okay, so um, we need a motion to close the public hearing. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. And now we have to talk about our um, our schedule. Because Kevin has gone over it, what we need to do for the state to get all of the accurate meetings in in time. So it changes our schedule a little bit. Do we have to vote actually closing down the hearing? Aye. Aye. Oh, yes, we did. Aye. 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 Yes, we did. Thank yes, we did. Thank you. Okay. All opposed. <laughs> Anybody opposed? Okay. So next, next on our list is. <laughs>
Prior to that, on September 2nd, the town clerk has to verify and place, uh, and place information on the ballots. So prior to that, we actually are, and there's one step that's in here, but it's a known issue. If you're putting things forward to the public and you want to make sure that it's, it's correct, uh, you would have to go through uh, the attorneys to make sure that there's no missteps. If we were to say, let's change and do something that's not in alignment with uh, a law, then you could get in trouble. So we want to make sure that they look all, all the verbiage over, make sure everything's okay. So prior to that, on June 23rd, the Board of Selectmen has their public hearing to talk about any proposed changes. And of course, before that, you have um, June 14th, the Board of Selectmen meeting, um, the Board of Selectmen vote to have set the public hearing. So really, prior to that, you see all the dates that are listed. You're at your April 22nd meeting. You go to the May 6th, regular meeting, set your dates for the rest of the year. May 10th, uh, you have a joint meeting with the Board of Selectmen. The 13th, your special commission meeting to discuss the draft report. And that's, that's where it gets to the, the fine tuning of it for you. Uh, you're discussing uh, on May 20th, uh, the vote on any changes for your draft. And that's where the public has all the input prior, so they can talk about what may or may not be able to work for a change in the, in the charter. Uh, there is another public hearing on June 3rd. So if you said, okay, we got it down to five, and someone else said, I, I like no, the first three, and we don't like the other two, that's where you'd hear a lot of that information from. Uh, you go to a, a regular meeting to finalize that draft, which needs to be submitted to the town clerk. For June 10th. The 14th is then where the Board of Selectmen again set a meeting date for a public hearing. We talk to you about those, you know, four, five, six, whatever you might have in mind for changes. We have our public hearing for the Board of Selectmen. And now we've, we've hit all our requirements via the uh, state statutes. And for anybody interested, if they wanted to go online and take a look at Chapter 99 from Municipal Charters and Special Acts, it's in here, and again, you have to go kind of backwards to get it all in, in alignment. So what I'm giving to you is uh, your board is suggested dates that you can actually get everything in alignment. And uh, if you have any questions, we can go we, we can go step by step and talk about them. So these are all still Thursdays, except for... I think you have a couple of meetings on Monday with the Board of Selectmen. With the Board of Selectmen, yeah. Okay. It's a lot more meetings close together, but we don't go way out into the summer. Right, right. Which is, so that's the next step. But June 28th, if we're all set. So actually, we can discuss exactly what meetings we're going to have at the next meeting. We can actually put it all together. We can actually put it all together there. Okay. I'm glad you did this because yeah, it was a bit okay. confusing. You know, we're just like putting down whatever. Yep. Okay, that's great. Do we have to, we don't have to vote on going into the new, we don't have to. Don't have to. You can do that at your next regular meeting All right. on May 6th. Okay. So I have uh, one more few minutes. Hold on, hold on. We're, we're going to have one more, we're going to have time, a little time for. A few um, more comments, but I just want to thank the, the uh, first selection. For, I haven't had a chance to do it. Uh, to fix the entrance to the town hall. And I'm not sure he was involved with, but the elevator makes it a lot easier to operate versus the old method. Oh, that's good to know that. That's great. I wanted it publicly because obviously that's two concerns of mine, other than what we've already done. That's, that's and great. I thank you. Now, we already discussed our list of topics, haven't we? Does anybody have anything else to discuss? So, on the next we, meeting, we'll, have, we'll get into the nitty-gritty. We'll get, get into the nitty-gritty. But I really going to go one by one next time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'll give time for more research. Too. Yeah, I have a little bit of research. It's a lot of homework. But we all have copies of it, right? So we're using it tonight. Okay. And now it's open to public comment one more time. Look, we're t Anybody else have any more comments? Then I make a motion to adjourn. Second.
So moved. Second. I mean, I, 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 all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Okay. Thank you for.